Aloha, welcome to another tutorial for Bringing Young University Hawaii Web Coordinators. This tutorial will show you how to implement the Shadow, Shadow Box plugin or module on your Drupal site. Shadow Box is a really cool media presentation uh, plugin and it helps you uh, display your image in a professional manner. And not only that, it uh, presents that cool appearance as well as uh, gives you the ability to easily uh, create a gallery without having to uh, follow a lot of steps uh, as in some of the Drupal modules used to create galleries. As you can see here we have 24 images that were just attached to a page and based on the shadow box configuration we were able to create a really um, professional looking and beautiful gallery. So I'm going to show you how to create this uh, really easy uh, uh, plugin in, in, in Drupal. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to one of our installations and we're going to type in user and we're going to log in as administrator. All right, first step into um, setting up Shadowbox. The first thing you want to do is you want to go under site building modules and make sure that uh, Shadowbox is enabled. So I'm going to go ahead and as you can see there are no other modules uh, that uh, Shadowbox de is dependent upon uh, as uh, JavaScript and, uh, and some of the other things uh, that it requires are already built in. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now after enabling the Shadowbox module I'm going to go ahead and configure it and as soon as our web page loads we're going to go under Site Configuration, Shadowbox and click on that and as you can see there are two options we're going to start with global and uh, if you want to make sure that your shadow box is, uh, is working on your site this is where you would click on test and as you can see it works so what we're going to do is we, we leave all this default that's all that comes in as you enable the, 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 the shadow box module we're going to go to the first option which is page specific activation settings uh, now this is crucial if uh, you know you want to really control how you're in what pages or content types um, that you're uh, you want your shadow box to appear on, and so here you can use a wildcard and say that you do not uh, uh, you do not want the shadow box to show up on admin, image assist, node add, and node edit, and so uh, this is a this is a really cool uh, uh, in Drupal that you can uh, control as to where you want your shadow box to show or not to show. And finally on shadow box options this is where you can really customize your shadow box. You can control the animation, the resize duration, the fade, the height and width of the shadow box as well as overlay, the color, the opacity um, and you can uh, change the color to white and, uh, and uh, make it look like a light box. Now this is where uh, we're gonna uh, make sure that we enable continuous galleries and uh, this is important because you know if you have uh, one page that you want to create uh, you know upload like the, that, like the gallery we had over here we want to make sure that we want to enable continuous galleries so if you have multiple galleries you do not want to uh, enable continuous galleries because it's going to group all images into one and there are other controls here you can do movies you can uh, control the keyboard or, or a mouse click when when using the gallery media handling and libraries we're just gonna leave that for, uh, for as default and then we're gonna go to auto image handling now for this example I want um, all the uh, the image links to to have uh, to have the shadow box as well as I want all of the images uh, to be grouped into an image gallery in shadow box so once I'm done I'm gonna uh, click save configuration so what we did first was enabled um, the shadow box module then we went and configured it now we're gonna create our gallery so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a basic page on this install and this tutorial is geared more for uh, beginners and so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just use our WYSIWYG um, tiny MCE editor to create that gallery uh, because our beginners uh, do not have HTML, CSS or uh, JavaScript um, knowledge and so we're just going to use this editor to, 
to show them how to create a simple uh, gallery. So the first thing is I'm going to call this gallery one, our page title, and I like to use file attach because it it really simplifies things for 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 a, a beginner. And one thing I like about file attach, as we'll see in a minute, it it displays the URL and also creates a thumbnail of the images that we'll be attaching. Now you could do FTP or you could do image presets um, and content types, but we're just going to uh, just uh, focus on file attachments for this example. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go and upload my images. I have created uh, five uh, images and uh, sequence image, image one to five. So I'm going to upload image one, attach it, and as you can see, I, I like the fact that it displays the URL, and then that would help me uh, when it comes to linking uh, an image uh, as a thumbnail to the original, and, and we'll see that as we continue to develop this. I'm going to attach image 2 and 3 and 4 and finally 5 All right. so uh, the next step would be after attaching the images to the page now remember these uh, images are the original sizes so what we want to do is we want to uh, create um, you know a group of uh, thumbnails on this page so that when someone clicks on it it will create the shadow box with the original size so the first thing I want to do is I want to copy image one copy and I'm going to use the WYSIWYG icon insert edit image and paste that first image and I'm going to name it image one now the cool thing in WYSIWYG is uh, you know if you don't have Photoshop uh, or you don't have Photoshop uh, Photoshop uh, basic skills you can always use this and it's pretty simple so as you can see I have a really large image and I want to create a thumbnail for all images and, and have a standard width of 400 so I'm going to insert that that's image one I'm going to go ahead and copy image two and go back here use my insert edit image and do paste and I'm going to name this image to go to appearance constrain the width to 400 so it's uniform with all other images and I'm going to copy image 3 go to insert edit image and image name it image 3 go to appearance Constrain the width to 400. Okay, and I'm going to go image four. Paste the URL and name it image four. Go to appearance, constrain the width, and as you can see, it will automatically constrain the height for you. And finally, image five. So I'm going to copy the URL. Now, as you become more proficient in Drupal, you'll find um, other ways that you can do this in a in a simple and more efficient manner. But I find this way uh, really easy for beginners. And finally, image five. So we're going to insert that. All right. So what we did was. We uploaded all the images in their original size. Then we embedded the images onto our page and customized the width to 400. So these images will act like our thumbnails. So now what we're going to do is we're going to link them to the original size. So we're going to highlight the image and link them to the original image size. Insert the URL image copy the original image to and link it to our do that again link it to our image to and we're going to go to 
match three. And we're going to do image four. Okay. Now, as you can see, I failed to customize the width on this one right here. Let me go adjust that. And I forgot to constrain it, so let me do that real quick. And update it and go back and get the URL to the original. And finally, link it. So we're done linking the thumbnails to the original size. Let's go ahead and save it and see how our gallery turns out in Shadowbox. As you can see, it gives you a message real quick as to uh, the image uh, being uploaded. And so right now, uh, we have all our images all linked. And as you can see, when I first click on the first image, you'll notice there is five images. And it, a shadow box has compiled all five images into a gallery. And you can either uh, click on the next image or you can browse using the navigation or the keyboard of all the remaining images. Now this is a much more simpler way of uh, creating a gallery whereas some of the other modules in, in Drupal require uh, setting up presets and um, enabling certain other modules that are dependent upon another and so forth and uh, I've, I've seen a lot of users become frustrated when creating galleries because sometimes there are issues with PHP or image magic and other uh, Drupal dependencies so I think Shadowbox uh, in Drupal is a much more easier way to create a simple gallery for beginners. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Aloha.